So, future home, day one, no one was injured. Mella did step in some dog poop. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mella. This is done. And we're sharing our experience as we reinvent our habitat. Today was day one of our bus demolition. We started to take the overhead bins out, and boy, it was a tough job. Trying to remove the overhead bins is gonna be an adventure because I have no idea what's behind them or how we're gonna get them down, how they're mounted, but we're gonna just start taking things apart, and figure it out. I think we need to do is get in and pull all of this piece out here because when you pull it out you get access to back in here and I think the entire overhead bin is bolted in on these rails. would be in the toilet so quick. <laughs> Success. Now you got it wedged in the top. Driver, help! There you go. Slide it on out. You're free! <laughs> <laughs> you still have the toilet paper. <laughs> Do you like some? fun except for the moments where it kind of almost came crashing down on us. We still got to figure out how to get those beams out of the bus because they're so long. Get one of the windows open and take them out through the window uh, but we were already very nervous today that we might break a window when the whole thing came kind of falling down on us. We arrived here about two weeks ago, but it took us a long time to slowly unload the bus and move into Don's parents' basement and sort of make a temporary little apartment downstairs. And we were tired too, so we had to take a couple days to rest. But we are ready to get going on the bus and excited about it and I think we did a good job with our day one of demolition. It's kind of surreal to be at this point uh, where now we know the really hard work starts because it felt so painful to liquidate, get rid of so many things that we own, pack everything up, get everything in the bus and move across the country that now we're starting the real hard work uh, it's a little bit intimidating for me at least i think it's fun <laughs> <laughs> you got this <laughs> huh is that something the kids say i don't know uh, another thing that i think is going to be fun which we'll probably share 
is when we posted our first couple videos, uh, a few friends around the Midwest said to us, mm -hmm. I don't know how you could do zero waste in the Midwest. Maybe in California you can, but we've been doing really good here. And I feel like even better because there's some things we're able to do, like we're able to have compost. We struggled with that in LA, trying to find some way to take out vegetable clippings. And so that's a step up for us, you know, zero waste journey, buying food in bulk and- Going to farmer's markets. Yeah. So it's taking, you know, we've gone to a lot of grocery stores to figure out where we can get what, but we're finding it. It's just, it's not easy. That's it's just it's not easy. It wasn't easy in LA either though. It feels a little easier because even though we're driving about the same amount of time to get to farmers markets or to get to grocery stores, there's no traffic here comparatively. Yeah. I mean, we're traveling probably a distance that other people who might be like, "Oh, I don't want to travel that far." But coming from LA, we are used to it. Right. Yeah, yeah. We'd travel um, less distance but take the same amount of time. And if you don't live in Los Angeles, if your friend invites you to a party that's 12 miles away on a Friday night, you know that's going to take you an hour and 15 minutes to get there. Whereas here in the rural part of the Midwest, we can get about 40 miles in 30 minutes or so just because of the ease mm -hmm. of getting up and down on the interstate and how little traffic there is in the rural areas. Yeah. How's those hands doing? So dirty. <laughs> you gotta wear your gloves. I kept having to, having to take them off to do things. Those birds are, are ruining our audio. <laughs> no, those birds will enhance the audio. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If anyone would like 45 minutes of uninterrupted bird noise, bird song, <laughs> we can make a special bird song video. I'll just go hide a microphone in the woods for 45 minutes. Finishing up demo day two and it's pouring rain outside. 